Hi everyone, Arjita here. Welcome to today's card video and I have this pretty watercolored card using the bow centerpiece stamp and die set from Waffle Flower Crafts. I love this uh, little centerpiece which has a big bow, a lantern, leaves, perfect for watercoloring. So I stamped the image uh, with some distress ink in uh, antique linen on my Archer's Cold Press watercolor paper and uh, then I started painting not realizing my camera wasn't on and so missed a little uh, portion there but uh, nothing to worry I'm just going to go over it with uh, more concentrated brown uh, watercolor paint and build my layers so uh, there was a lot of coloring it was a lot of fun and uh, I used my Daniel Smith watercolors which I store them uh, which I store in these uh, palettes so uh, I at times I'm not sure which all shades I mix and match and I really enjoy creating my own hues and tones uh, mixing various colors colors from the palette so um, I will uh, still try to list all the shades of the watercolor paints I have used but they might just be few colors which I have made from, of my own and uh, they're just blends of uh, certain colors. I use the opposite colors from the uh, color wheel to mute down my shades like I do for my reds. I mix a little green tint in it and that just mutes the red beautifully. So um, here you can see I'm going to pick up reds for my uh, center piece bow and then I'll create my own gray for the lantern next to it. So it's all about coloring, building layers and water coloring and that's what I'm going to do here today. Um, I have kept almost all the footage here so that you can enjoy the coloring process. It is self-explanatory and uh, there's nothing much I can speak while painting. So I'm um, using a water brush in case you are uh, interested in that. It is just a plain brush filled with water in it and that is how I create my watercolor blends. So this is really helpful and uh, I've also got a tissue next to it. I wipe the extra pigment and then blend uh, the color forward with plain water. So I'll stop speaking here, add in some music, you enjoy the coloring process and once this is done I just matted it on a Nina Dessert Storm card base and I did not feel like adding any sentiment to this. Instead I'll uh, be adding some sentiments inside the card base. So I hope you'll enjoy the coloring process.
So with this the coloring is done and I'm now going to add some white highlights using my Copic uh, white ink. I'm using a very tiny brush for that and uh, these highlights really emphasize and uh, uh, really elevate the beautiful water coloring. So with this uh, it is almost done. I used one of the waffle flowers nesting rectangles die to cut out this panel and I'm going to stick it on top of some Nina Desert Storm card base. So I hope you enjoyed this coloring video and if you did do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and please do leave some comments. Thank you so much for stopping by. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye.